Jason, Soundcraft VI 3000. It's a little bit VI 6, it's mm -hmm. a little bit SI, it's a little bit a few other things. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get a feeling it's a, it's a little bit more stewed than Soundcraft from the, the sleek sort of Vistonics uh, influence. <laughs> well, that gives you that idea. Oh, I don't know. But, but Jimmy, you're quite besotted. I love this thing. Yeah. This is this is like categorically for under a hundred grand. This is the best mixing console I've ever used, and quite a lot under a hundred grand too. Yeah, like mm. like not even half that. Mm. Um, I frankly expected it to cost about twice as much as it does. Mm. Mm. Uh, it looks good. It feels wonderful. I think the interface is excellent. Mm -hmm. I think the interface is going to be something people are going to love or hate. Yeah, I, I think very much more love though. I mean, the first thing that really jumped out at me is just the sheer amount of control you've got. Just the rows and rows of encoders. And just, it's lots of buttons, lots of things to touch. I feel it's really easy to get to everything. Yeah, and, and I gotta say, as a guy who hates getting lost in pages mm. of stuff, I really hate getting lost in pages of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And that's categorically impossible yeah. on this console. Because yeah. nothing is really more than two button presses away. Yeah, and you're not the only one. That's the most common complaint about digital audio mixes. I don't like going through pages. I like don't, don't having to press three buttons to get to something. Mm. And you really don't. I mean, I haven't spent as much time with this as you, but I've found everything that I was looking for almost immediately. I reckon I can get to just about anything with two actions mm. at mm. the most. Okay, um, so there's the Surface. You've got, what, 96 mix channels? Yep, 96 mix channels across four mm -hmm. layers of 24 faders. So input faders, input faders, input and other thing faders. Yep. You'll notice up here we've got our meter section. What we can do is we can tap on any of the mix buses and have those buses appear down there on that end tile. So it's yep. like sort of the engineer's kind of tile. Mm. Up to a second of delay on every output, up to 100 milliseconds of delay on every input, four internal lexicons, mm -hmm. It's a little bit down from the VI6, but there's always the real-time rack option. Yep. Or there's always just a plug in your existing lexicon option. Mm -hmm. um, you can have uh, stereo or mono uh, mix buses for all of those 24 mix buses. Plus there's left, right, and center. Uh, and I think you can assign up to 16 of those buses as matrix as well mm. as uh, auxiliary or groups. Yeah. Now on the back here, we've actually got analog I.O. Yeah, on the, back, okay, on the back, we've got four card slots. Each mm. slot supports 16 channels. Mm. And you can configure that with analog input or output cards. We've got three 16 channel mic line ins and one 16 channel line out card. Mm -hmm. But that's not all the I.O. on the back. No, we've got uh, 64 by 64 Dante port built in. We've got high QNet, which is mainly for control. Yep. Uh, and you've got two other digital card slots. On the yeah. Back. And we've also got MADI without control oh, yeah. uh, natively built in. You don't mm. even need a card. So if you want to use something like a recording interface mm. or the real time rack, um, that runs on the inbuilt MADI port, which is optical. If you want to use remote racks, then you start looking at using MADI cards. And you can either use, in this case, we've got uh, a Cat5 card. So that's suitable for the, the Soundcraft SI Compact Series stage boxes. Mm -hmm. um, and you can use those, it's fine. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't care that you're using a little tiny stage box. No. It's just like, yeah, it's a stage box, it'll do. Um, or we've got an optical uh, MADI card as well. Mm. So lots and lots and lots of I.O. on board. Uh, the big one though for me is the Dante. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're uh, running a bit of a multi-track yeah, into it as, at the as moment. you can see, I've got multi-track audio yeah. appearing pretty much on every channel. If I pull out this one Cat5 cable, the audio stops. Uh, which port was I in? I was in that port. Mm -hmm. So I'll plug that back in. It takes a little while to reacquire, mm -hmm. um, but that's okay. There's a secondary Dante port as well, and you mm -hmm. can see we're back up and running now. Yeah, which means it's just that easy to do a multi-track live record as well. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going into the console from a laptop, but if I wanted mm -hmm. to turn everything around and send it out in the other direction, that's pretty easy too. You've got direct outs from every channel, and you've got also uh, 24 tie lines where you can tie any port within the console's domain of things that it knows about to any other port. Wow, just without so, up a So resource. you can say, like, pick up channel 43 on the Dante and send it out of uh, the MADI card slot channel 12. Wow, that's really, really useful. Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay, a lot of mixes in this kind of space uh, vying for, you know, your dollar. What do you think is the one thing that really stands out as really exceptional on this desk? Oh, I mean, it, everything. It, it, <laughs> Look, I mean, okay, for starters, it looks cool. Um, yeah. you, it's not a single person lift, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know of many 96 channel consoles that are. Mm. Um, its workflow, I think, for yeah. me is, is just, it, 
I, I unpacked it, and truth be told, like I, I was a little confused for the first half hour, but then I started to figure out how it's working, and um, and it's it's not that it's wrong; it's just different to to what I'm used mm. to, having spent you know, a lot of time on on several other fairly common consoles. Yeah. Uh, this is very different, but different once I but better, yeah. Mm. Yeah, once I figured it out, it, it's it's phenomenally good. You know, all the internal processing is good. The EQs are responsive, and it all feels very tactile. You know, it's really there is there is very little not to like about this. And then you know, that's before you see the price. Yeah, I agree, Jimmy. Brilliant, brilliant piece of work, Soundcraft. Mm.